Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Expeditions Viking. Alright, it's been a little bit since I've recorded, so uh, let's get right back into it. We're looking for Vranger here in the marsh, and we do have an indicator there on the map. So let's just go make our way and uh, find him. There's something under the bridge here. The body of a young woman in the clothes of a thrall. She appears to have floated down the creek until she landed here. Oh, that's too bad. Apparently doesn't have anything on her. Oh, hello. Wow, you're just, like, out in the open. The man in front of you is covered in mud. His wrangly physique and watery eyes evoke the image of a drowned rat. You there, friend. Yes, you. You look like a strong, capable sort. Could you help a poor, stranded traveler? Vranger Onsen? Surprise flickers across his face. Uh, yes? I've been looking for you. His eyes narrow with suspicion. Uh, why, if I might ask? Brana sent me. What did she tell you? Your wife told me about what you've done. Uh, we could try capturing him. You're, you're coming back to ride with me. Stab him! Your life ends here, coward! Or we could let him go. Run, run, and never show yourself here again. Uh, let's try capturing him. Vranger sizes up you for a moment. Then, in a blur of motion, he spins around and tries to run. We could try shooting him. Kettle, take him down. Or let him go. It's not worth it. Or easy finesse. I only have a finesse of one. But it is easy. And I did have that previous success with finesse, which has probably taken all of my finesse luck for uh, eternity. But let's try it. Not so fast. Finesse succeeded! <laughs> Blank darts forth and clamps onto Vranger's collar. He gives you a strangled cry as you jerk him backwards. I can stab him. Your wife told me what you've done. That crazy bitch! Isn't it enough that she set her house on fire? She also sends people after me. Wait, she set the fire? Yes, I only barely managed to escape and flee the city. That's quite a story. Just how did you escape with that much? I like this option. Sweat beads on his upper lip and he wipes it away nervously. I was, uh, uh planning to leave with my bed slave. She was worth less than twelve ore, though. Legally, it was fair game. I may have made mistakes, but do I deserve to die? I can't just let you go. Uh, what then? Oh. I can stab him, or I can let him go. Hmm. Um. I'll let him go. Run. Run and never show yourself here again. He glances at the sinking wagon, then at you and your companions. Uh, okay. Ranger bolts into the gloom. His panicked footfalls slap against the wet ground, receding into the distance as he vanishes from sight. Off he goes. What about the, all the supplies? Eh, we'll take them. Then Madrona takes the supplies. You've received Vranger's goods. You go tell Branna of Vranger's fate. Well, we could do that. Um, might as well go explore the rest of this place, though. Uh, so let's put this on to the frail one. And let's, uh, let's go! I, I mean, um, no, we, we don't have no Mario around here. I uh, will just uh, explore the area here a little bit more. Anything down this way? Got a campfire here. a barrel, it looks like. Meat and a bladder! We'll take it all. And there's nothing in the trash pile. Of course there's nothing in the trash pile. Stupid trash piles. Alright, am I... I am not... facing north. Alright, that's, that's roughly north-ish. The wind howls through the skeletal trees, chilling you to the bone. Darkened shapes loom ominously in the night, and the pungent stink of rotting leaves and stagnant water hangs heavy in the air. 
Ahead, a wavering light shines through the gloom. It wavers and flickers, its light filtering through the trees. Then a large shape suddenly moves across it, something big and misshapen. Elmandretta, did you see that? There's something out there. It's probably just a bear. Shh, don't be ridiculous. I'm telling you, it's probably just a bear. The spirits of this marsh call dark things to their service. We tread in a realm of monsters and should watch our step. Oh, don't go on all goofy on me, Roskva. Listen to her, Elmandretta. Let's come back in the morning. Step forward, I say. I always wanted to slay a giant. I hope he's fat and slow. More for my axe to bite into. That makes me feel a bit better. We can escape while they eat Gunnar. Well, that's not nice. Can we just move on, please? Sure. Well, hello, Burger, Amar, and Weary. Three hunched shapes sit huddled around a roaring fire pit. They are they are unnaturally large, and their features hideously misshapen. Roska pales, her voice tre a trembling whisper. Giants! Gunnar's grin is fierce, and you can almost hear his meaty fists clench around the haft of his weapon. Giants! The largest among them points towards you. Look at this, brothers! Little people drawn to our fire. Lost in the woods on a dark, dark night. <laughs> Attack! Die, freaks! Well, that would just be, uh... Rude. So the rumors were true. You've been stealing away travelers from the trail. Greetings! It is awfully cold tonight. Might we share your fire? We'll be on our way. Didn't mean to bother you. Um... I like this first option. More hounds from the town, brothers, sent by their masters to hunt, one, hunt what they don't understand. Men come here, call us monsters. They bring swords and fire. A sick grin distorts his face. So we kill them. Kill them first. Now they leave us alone. You should have left us alone, too. Now we'll have to take you. Oh! Hi. Hello. Grizzled banner. Oh, more. Ugh. Level 3. Uh, skilled warrior, level 4. Oh, boy. And a veteran berserker. 150 hit points. Damage 125 to 134. I think I'm screwed. I think I might be screwed here. Hmm. Alright, now none of them have bows or anything like that. Uh, Gunner the Peaceful, I need you. <laughs> I, I, I need you so badly. Um, let's put you there. Yeah, I'm not going to be uh, attacking anyway. Alright, so one of them will come in here. I'll get two people to attack. Nafia here. And for now, I'm going to switch weapons. And 61%. Blocked. Crap. Get ready. Uh, Roska, I'm going to move down here so that she can heal. I can heal. So that'll be good. Let's try it. Now, they're probably going to... The other ones are probably going to go around here, so... Ooh. Don't like that. got a 95% chance to hit right now. If 
I move you right there, I don't know that... Alright, well, I'll be able to move again. Yes! Get you there. Alright. Um, and I can still... I can still shoot. No chance to hit. Okay, got some damage. Now, I would have liked to have used that uh, damage reduction thing, but uh, I moved him, and uh, he didn't have the opportunity. So, one of them is definitely going to come up around here, the other one is definitely going to come around there, and one of them is going to go straight through there. Not the best choice. 50 damage, okay. Oh, nice, and take Oh, wow, they're both going around there, uh-oh. That is not good. Uh, then again, you are injured. Alright. Uh, I would like to do a stun on someone. All right, let's see what you got. Shield Hook. Uh, uses the axe to pull the uh, opponent's shield away, adding the status exposed. Cannot block, and then makes an attack at 50% damage. Cleave. Ignores the target's damage reduction, but only deals 25% damage and gives the status effect bleeding. I don't care about that. Into stun to lock down. Tears Favor. Total damage reduction plus 25%. That might be good, but I don't know if it's good enough right now. Alright, well, first of all... Well, let's see. 50% damage. I got three people. I might be able to do it. Okay, you're exposed. Got a critical hit there, though. Down he goes. Let's get you here. Um, actually, maybe I should have had Elmandre to get there. Yeah, no, I can't get her. Well, I, okay, I might be able to. Okay, you're flanked. Do you have? I can't tell if you've got tactical move or not. So. Shoot. Damn it. Ah, oh, I needed that hit. I really needed that hit. Alright. Uh, for now, you get here. You heal him up. Oh. Attack of opportunity. Well, you don't have an attack, a, an attack of opportunity anymore. So, you can then move up here. Alright, uh, I was thinking about quick shot, but I can't hit him. Because he's got cover. So, just shoot him. Point blank range. Nothing wrong with that, right? And you get up here. Okay, I can still move. I cannot change weapons. Is there a better place to go? Not really. Alright, let's see exactly... Okay, he's disentangled and he moved. Oh, he does have a bow. Did not know that. Now 
That's okay. Hello? Okay. You're almost ready to go down. Alright, let's just move you over here. I noticed at the last second that there was that those brambles there. I was really hoping that he didn't walk through them. And let's shoot him in the face. Very nice. No new injuries. I will take that. Very nice. Alright, so... Let's see, nothing on Dweary. These guys need to have equipment. Iron and honey, I'll take that. Uh, 46 valuables and some cloth. What the heck is that? That's like a beehive in that tree. Oh, I wonder if I could have, like, shot that or something. The air is thick with the acrid stench of smoke near the fire pit. Oh, wait here until nightfall. Help me light the fire. We'll wait for whomever lives here to return. That should probably not be uh, um, the option there. Examine the area. A number of stout logs and stones have been placed around the pit, and there are a number of smaller fires around the outskirts of the site. What first appeared as branches look upon closer inspection to be bones, burnt by fire and picked clean. Nafia, find anything interesting? Uh, let's see, people sat here, they've been eating. There was more than one fire. People sat here. You count a total of three separate spots that would make decent seats around the fire. I'm about to sit here as well, if you're going to spend as much time poking around. They've been eating. While large, the bones are not human. By your estimation, they're from boar. No wonder all this trudging around gives a man an appetite. This is more than one fire. The small fires have, like the central pit, been lit recently. Their exact purpose is difficult to determine. A ring of fire to chase away the lantern men. Alright, go ahead and leave. I'm afraid that the other option would, uh result in the game bugging out, like like we've seen before. What goodies do you have? Uh, bladder, tar, and meat. Uh, we got some more meat. Uh, more meat, herbs, and tar. Okay. So we took care of the uh, the giants. Some herbs in those sacks. Some herbs there. And nothing in that basket. Well, let's see what's inside the house. The pile is a jumbled heap of assorted valuables, brooches, rings, and bolts of cloth. Even the odd figurine. They glitter invitingly in what meager light filters through the filthy windows. Uh, there are torches in here. Kettle eyes the pile. Would you look at that? Leave it. If they come back, they'll notice it's missing. Steal it. It won't do anyone any good here. I say we take it. Yeah, I killed them already. Uh, 60 salvage and 900 valuables. Uh, greedy followers have gained morale and altruistic followers have lost morale. Not sure that I have any altruistic followers right now. You've gained morale, because you're greedy. Uh, you've gained morale, because you're greedy. You are neither. You are neither. And you are greedy. Excellent. Good choice, everyone. Nothing there. Uh, tar and poison. We'll take all of that. Nothing else here. All right. Go ahead and exit out again. wonder if those bodies have turned into flaming bags. Nope, bodies have vanished. Okay. Fair enough. This appears to be a little dock. 
It's very, very dark. Let's uh, take a quick look at our map. Small house. Okay, that's about oriented north. Anything else around here? Another small fire. Ah. Here's the tree. Let's talk to the tree. There was no mistaking the tree the Gidya, me Gidya mentioned. It looks like it has stood in this place forever, its gnarly roots protruding from the mushy soil far around it. I'll look for a moldy patch. You examine the trunk and quickly find a patch of bark covered in a thick, wet mold that sticks to your fingers when you touch it. Let's carve off a piece of bark. Producing your CX. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce that. Six, Something like that. Sax? No. You carve a jagged piece of bark off the, tri off the trunk around the patch, leaving no more, uh, no more mold on the great oak tree. A uh, great, ol great old tree. Whatever. Hey, give me that. Oh, that's a guy. Hey, give me that. Two men and a woman stand at a safe distance from your herd. They wear the sort of equipment typical of farmers trained uh, and obligated to fight in the Leidanger army. The short man at the front was the one who spoke. He speaks again. We need that stuff. More than you. Put it down and step away from the tree. What makes you think you have a greater need than us? You got here too late. That's just how it is. Watch your tone, farmer. Um, go with for the first one. What makes you think that you have a greater need than us? Vilgerder Yokel's daughter. Our son's gravely ill, and the witch says he'll not survive the week. We need that. We need that bark to make a cure. If you don't give it willingly, we'll take it from you. The tall, densely built man in the back puts a hand on the shorter man's shoulder. At twice our number, and better armed, we cannot win this. Desperation is a growl in the woman's voice. We'll win. We have no choice. That bark is my boy's only chance. Based on your knowledge of healing tinctures and concoctions, you're fairly confident the mold on half this bark will be more than enough to treat a Fira's illness. We need such a cure as much as you do. I will not give it up. We both face the same problem. I will split the bark with you. Yeah, we'll, we'll go for the uh, altruism path, right? No, how can we... No, half the mold will suffice. Uh... I'm, I'm, I've got medicine. I got medicine skill, Nafia. My thoughts as well. I will not stake my son's life on that. We could try, uh, leadership. Nafia, you must trust me. This is the right decision. And you, farmers, this is the only offer you'll get. I advise you take it. If we fight, one of our loved ones will die for sure. And it's likely some of us will die here as well. If we divide the cure, there's a chance everyone will live. I kind of like that better than the leadership option. But I'll go for the leadership option. Nafia gives you a long, evaluating look. Then she bows her head. You're right. Of course I trust you. The big man in the back looks quite relieved. This seems reasonable to me. Come on, the witch didn't say we needed it all. I'm sure this will be enough. The small man looks at you, then at the woman by his side, then back at you. The big man puts a hand on his shoulder, and finally he appears to make up his mind. All right, all right. Half the bark, then. I, I just hope this will do. You snap the bark neatly in half and hand the wary man one part. The other you stash among your other belongings. The big man smiles tentatively. You received a troll tree bark. Thank you, all of you. I know this was the best solution. May I watch over your friend? I like for our... Eh, all right. Yes, see, see, Nafia, it worked out. Uh, no, 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 like uh, boost in. Uh, oops, that's not the right thing. Wait, I am pleased. I I have morale. <laughs> I I don't think that I I have morale. Depends how many hours a character can go before becoming fatigued. Uh, 
Wow, you only got... Oh, I, I, can, I can go longer than Gunner. Hmm. It's a little creepy, actually. Oh, my endurance is less. What is it uh, based on? I don't remember. Where else could I can go even longer? 40 hours. Maybe part of it's based on uh, the equipment. It might be based on equipment, too. Otherwise, I'm not really sure. I should have gotten experience points for that. I mean, I know I'll get experience points for the, uh, um... For the quest, but still. Oh, you guys are still here? Nothing in the large stash. I feel like you guys probably should have left. Oh, there's a barrel. Nothing in the barrel. Nothing in the sacks. Alright, I'm not going to leave just yet. I want to finish exploring this place. Alright, so that's the exit over here. Is there a way to get up there? There's a lot of, uh, like, empty space in this. I'll figure out if I can get up to the, uh, the northern part. Um. Shortly. Let's, let's wander along the, uh, the southern part. Oh! Hi, wolves! Are we gonna get into a battle with you? Yep! Ah, ooh, there's quite a few of them. Um, all right. Let's see. I want a place where, ideally, I can get four people. Oh, yeah, all right. I get four across, and only three can get to me. time to end the episode, but, uh... I wonder if wolves can take cover. It doesn't look like it. 71% chance to hit. That was a miss. Alright, well, wolves are really, really easy, so it's not that big of a deal. Alright, I can go ahead and ready. Nice Lafer can go ahead and ready. Alright, you can't attack from there. Alright. Uh, well, in that case... See if we can... Oh, nope, nope, can't kill you. I can shoot you, though. So we'll take care of these uh, wolves, and then... Uh, end of the episode. They'll be pretty easy. There's quite a few of them. Bad puppy! Bad puppy! Oh, of course, you wait until, uh, um, your friends move. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's go with a uh, quick shot, since they're really darn close. Yeah, this will basically kill any of them. Critical hit! You've got quick shot. 43% chance, though. Eh, hey, that worked. Very low percent chance. And that's... That's a miss. All right, how about we do Tears' favor, just because we can. I'll go ahead and ready. 
you go ahead and ready, and since you've got your bow, just go ahead and shoot. I like fighting wolves. Nice and easy. <laughs> didn't even get a chance to attack. And this is definitely something different. I don't think we had any non-human enemies in uh, Expedition's uh, Conquistador. Can I think of any at all? I don't, I don't think so. Alright, you go ahead and get a nice thwack in there. Uh, let's go ahead and switch your weapon. Get a thwack in there. Let's go back with quick shot. Oh, kettle. So disappointed. Look at that 90 damage. Seriously, Roscoe? Should have done regular attacks. But that's why I saved these two. Excellent. Three skill points. Very nice. Can I interact with these? Nope. There's a barrel over here, though. Uh, tar, poison, and meat. Hey, we got uh, we got the the, the wolves' uh, meat there from that uh, that barrel. All right. Well, uh, when we return, we will continue exploring these marshes. There's a way out there, but uh, we still have up here to explore and and all this area up there to explore. What is uh, directly north of us? Oh, the fire, okay. So, when we return, more exploration of the marsh. We've got three skill points. I'll take a look to see if there's uh, um, any point to giving any of that out. Uh, but that will be next time. See you then, everyone.